to to move on to the lunch and the screening of uh, the movie that we have for you. I think it goes without saying that the opportunities are there for the creatives. And one thing indeed that the MEC and the department have always wanted to ensure is that GFC is able to reach all five of the regions and in particular our um, townships and our informal settlements. With that MEC, we are back and uh, I think the creatives are eager to have a, a word uh, and hear your take on what they should be doing. What I, to, This month is Africa month. I am looking forward to also seeing a number of um, uh, animations and uh, cartoons coming through as well as drawings to depict our heritage, to depict where we come from. And I'm sure we will be getting those through uh, the various platforms. With that, I'd like to uh, hand over to the MEC to give her um, address and to say a few words to our creators today in congratulating and also encouraging them. Thank you, MEC. Let's give a round of applause, MEC. Um, thank you very much, Program Director Eriki Kilidu Medicine, Dumela. But I also apologize for my scratchy voice, Kitsuraki flu. But this event is so exciting that I couldn't miss it. I had to come here and share the moment with you. So the reason I'm here today is that it is important um, that the Department of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation is seen to be supporting black and young filmmakers in the industry that you chose to participate in. So it is one of the pillars of the pillars women responsibilities that we have as a, as, a, as a department that we do all of the things that the CEO um, spoke to. So let me then um, um, program director acknowledge the chairperson of a before I are Mr. Ramate Munyokolo, who welcomed us. Um, also acknowledge yourself, CEO, and your colleague. Um, acknowledge from my office um, the officials that I work with. But I think for me, the most important thing is to acknowledge all of you young people who are in the room, because that today it's about you. We are just your servants, basically. We are here to give you service. Um, we're here to make your dream come true. But it doesn't mean you don't have a responsibility. And I want to add to what you were saying when you were talking about the importance to that they should apply, um, CEO, and make sure that their application is correct. Have that tick box, draw it up for yourself, look at what um, the advert is requiring of you to do. You are creatives after all. Recreate that um, tick box for yourself, tick box for yourself so that you are able to go through everything that you need to submit so that you can get the funding and you know be part of the people that we are celebrating today so as the ceo was speaking the chairperson then said to me and i think it's a good thing chairperson that you said so that as you go through the application this facility here is open for you to come and sit with they will provide you with support that you need to make sure that your your application is correct. When the chairperson was speaking earlier on, he made mention of the fact that they have incubation um, programs. And the CEO also spoke about the um, accredited ne? and non-accredited support that we give. So that's part of the whole package. So don't sit and be frustrated when you know that you're not very sure what it is that you're supposed to do. But that also speaks to the importance of doing things on time. Because when you come here, and are assisting you with whatever needs to be done, it takes time. So the earlier you, um, you apply, the better. The other thing that I need to mention is the business side of the film industry that you're in. And I'm glad you spoke to that, Meg. Um, and here, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I want us, in one of the courses that we have, we should have a, a business development course. I don't know if we have it already. Do we? Yes or no? No. Not yet. Yeah, something similar. Yeah, so we'll grow it and make sure that when we, when we exit you from the program, when we 
you know, give you to the world that this is our our, our child from um, uh, A before IR and GFC. They also understand that they are in a business and you are there, you'll be a, a job creator. Remember yourself as a business owner, you will be employed. You won't be, you know, one of the statistics that are not employed, but you'll also be employing other young people like yourselves. So it's important that we, we do that for you. So black and young filmmakers, uh, being a fresh perspective yourselves, you bring a fresh perspective to the film industry and your stories deserve to be heard. They must be heard. You offer a new voice, a different way of seeing the world, and a unique approach of storytelling. And this I am saying without fear of contradiction because the first time I was here, I witnessed the capacity and the capability that you have. So indeed what you're doing, uh, your, your approach, it really, is, um, it really is unique. So by supporting you, we help to create a more diverse and inclusive industry and we give a voice to those who have been traditionally silenced. So it is important to remember that the film industry has the power to shape people's perceptions and our understanding of the world. So what you're doing is very powerful. And whatever you create, it must always be at the back of your mind that the story that you're going to tell, once it gets exposure, it is definitely going to be changing somebody's life. And it doesn't mean young people only. Even ourselves, as mature people, when we look at some of the films, you realize that you know there are gaps in your perception of the world. And because of the film industry, you are able to fill those gaps. So what you're doing is very important and you must always remember that. So we must support efforts that promote film festivals and screening that showcase um, voices, diverse voices, and share these films with, um, with your friends and families. I hope you do that. Because most of the time, your family is your, is your backdrop. Even leadership, you are the subject. I have, I have a cousin who is a chef, so I don't want to tell you what we are exposed to sometimes. Renomates, I feel like, he's young, we must encourage him. And we pray that. Um, <laughs> but... No, but it's true, sorry. <coughs> um, but it's important that you use your family as a backdrop because they contributed to the person that you are. So they know you, they'll be able to tell you, but you know, you're short changing yourself. When you were four or five years old, you used to do this, that and the other. Why don't you incorporate it in the film or the story that you're that you saying? So. It's important that you do that, but we also as government must give you the support. It's just unfortunate, you know, and we're aware of that. And that's why the efforts that we are making that most young black males and females, I know the, the importance is on um, supporting young girls and I support that fully, but we're not leaving the boy child out. Um, you were, because of, you know, the nature of the type of government that we had at South Africa, in South Africa, most of you were left out of the opportunities. So we are going to make sure, and we are making sure that we address that, and um, we give you the opportunities that you need. Um, the budget is not always as big as we would like it to be. So Chairperson, I want to agree with you that, and I want to implore you that you invite the Premier. He must come and interact with yourselves, and he must come and appreciate the work that you're doing. But the other thing that I would like us to do, GFC, is that in one of the premier's um, events, his major events, you must, we must get one or two of these young people to go and cover that event so that we have evidence when you invite them, we tell him premier, here is what these people are doing, these young people are doing. He has a passion for young people's development. He said it in his, in his state of the province address and he also emphasized that we must go back to townships and get our own young people and give them opportunities. So he has a responsibility to come and, um, and witness um, the fruits of that, uh, whatever it is that he, uh, he made commitments to. So that I'm going to ask, I, I told him the last time I was here, um, I did speak to him. He was at that time MEC for education. We had a conversation about it. I will remind him, but I want you to invite him. Oh, better still, why don't you write him an email? I'll, show his, I'll share his email with you. 
write him an email lena le mo tsho re premier re ntse mo wena o itse re ra e tla e tla o tlo bona o re ra e so i'll share you the email with you le tla ba fa yona kere yeah we'll make sure that we leave it with the chairperson so the chairperson will make a formal uh, invitation and you will make your creative invitation or le ngwale in such a way that he cannot refuse but he must come that will also help me by the way as mc to make sure that i get more money to give to gfc and then we spend it on you so it's a it's a it's an agreement ne? yeah it's a partnership that we can get into lilo naker sharp we'll do that so your your industry ne, has the power to shape culture and influence and influence social change so if like it is happening right now in our country there's a lot of unemployment especially for young for you young people the economy is not doing very well we just got out, out of covid you know there's all sorts of many uh, different negative things that are happening be they natural or whatever but the people who can lift the community out of the doldrums are you creatives so we need you to give south africans hope that you know yeah these things are happening but there's life ahead of all of us. We are young and we think that we can, yourselves, I'm not young. Um, we think that we can do this, that, and the other to make sure that we recover as a, as a country. So the business side of it comes in. Um, I'm going to conclude before I lose my voice. So in conclusion, I'm just going to emphasize what I said earlier on, that your industry, um, it's essential if you want to create a more diverse and inclusive film industry and a more just and equitable world. And the operative word for me here is equitable world. You look it up and I'm sure you'll incorporate it into, into the films that you're making. So the CFO earlier on spoke about the, um, the partnership that we have with, with Netflix. And part of what they said in the meeting that we had with them was that they what they lack in their content is stories that are told by yourselves african um young males and females i nearly said boys and girls i'm sure no longer there um but that's the content they need they have reached you know that the netflix has reached so imagine that netflix is carrying the story that you wrote you have made it you are out there and we'll be proud of you and we'll celebrate you. So we want to see that happening. We have a partnership already with Netflix. So these, these two guys, these two magicians, because what they're doing is very, it's amazing in my opinion. And until I'm proven wrong, and I know that there isn't anyone who can prove me wrong, they're here for you and, 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 and um, the A before IR, they're here to assist you to reach all of those heights that you, you are dreaming to reach. The normally, and I know this is a cliche, it is said that the sky is the limit, but I just want to twist it a little bit. The sky is not the limit. You can go over and beyond, get into the stratosphere and create as much as you like. So there are no barriers. There are no barriers unless those barriers are in your mind. We will support you as much as we can. The budget is not as big as we would like it to be, but whatever little that we have, we are going to spend it on you. So let us celebrate this occasion and let us continue to work together to support the aspirations and dreams of yourselves, young and um, talented filmmakers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, MEC. I think it was a straight and uh, indeed impactful message and i think our creatives are ready to hit the ground running i get it. all right um we are really moving fast with our program i just wanted to uh, reiterate what the mec was saying in terms of um usage i think the those who are receiving the the equipment today part of giving back or part of our contractual or in our agreement with them will be for them to actually come and capture one event, the GFC, and as we are indeed engaging with the province to capture one of the other, it could be the Wednesday League uh, that is also taking place. So we are indeed uh, in, 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 um, 
in discussions with the department and the HOD, and we are looking forward to indeed having our creatives uh, to actively participate there. Um, also, just to on the notion of Netflix, I think I'd like to know who was able to know or even attend. They had a workshop just recently, I think last month, um, where they were talking about the criteria, talking about um, the what they require, and I know you know the word of mouth and and the platforms are limited, but I think. Just by a show of hands, I'd like to know who was possibly or who knew about it, who is in this room. Can I have a show of hands? All right, thanks. Did, did you manage to attend or you knew about it? Okay. No, I think, I think this is part of what also is the challenge with the GFC reach, is that we are needing to have more of these sessions so we will be engaging Netflix to, to have a follow-up session to ensure that our creatives know about what their criteria is and how they can access the necessary funding. Uh, thank you for those words, MEC. Uh, the team, GFC, team GFC, I hope you're ready. Kenako, Swiso, Utwila Gerbare, Gig Economy. Laizaba Gig Economy, Agarbanabis. Yeah, Gig Economy, not Gigabytes. Gig economy. It's a long weekend, but anyway, I will. Uh, as the team, I'm going to hand over to my colleagues. Osin uh, Tabeleng, please come through, and we are now ready to get to the second part of our program, which is indeed, and I hope our beneficiaries are ready to um, come forward. Uh, those who are indeed also able, Vanaling, uh, who are able to, to indeed um, share, I think, their testimony, we will also give that opportunity to say what are they doing, uh, what do they intend to do with the equipment they are receiving, but we'll have that um, towards the end of our program. So if you can just contact me on the side as I give over to uh, my colleague in Tabiling. Um, to hand over the equipment to indeed our deserving beneficiaries. Yes, that's why. Okay, we can get a testimony. All right, noted. Uh, MEC Arunyago Utwa from our beneficiaries. So, but I hope you took a seat. Let's go out of your streamer. Just, just be like me, you know. I'm talking. Shevilele, naga sheva di camera or itlo panchalena. But um, please, it took you say just a few words. I mean, you guys wrote. I mean, you wrote very deserving motivations, and we just like to hotso pola fed. All right, we will then ask the MEC. We'll just put and give uh, the opportunity for the team to bring the equipment. I will do it one at a time. From the Gauteng Film Commission, guys, thank you so much for making time to come to this event. Uh, I know but thank you so much. Um, you know, I think um, this, this session is very important uh, to us as well as the GFC because this partnership with a funding partnership where the GFC partnered with 4IR and Digital Canvas Academy, where we were teaching um, students to write and transform from pencil to digital. This was how, you know, there's a lot of people that are doing a lot of comics and a lot of comic books uh, with those, the, the paper, the pencil. So others is pencil, others they use um, charcoal uh, as part of the, the, the refining of the art, but you know, through the GFC, we managed to have a partnership where we were assisting people that are converting from pen to paper into digital. And that space happened here, um, and we are very excited to also know and note that in this weekend's um, Cape Town International uh, Animation Film Festival, 
uh, as well as Comic Con, and the people by Bomo Secting, they would know what I'm talking about. We really had a nice people from this group, uh, which we we worked with in the uh, previous training. We've got um, Tebo, who was one of the people that came from the area, who is currently now a 2D animator. And at the Comic Con this week, she, he won to go to NSC, which is in May. This is the Paris um, Animation Festival. It's the biggest in, in the world. Also, uh, Jovi Slash also won Fandinia GFC and currently making animation music. So you have a lot of um, animators that are also doing music videos. So that's also the new things that we have um, can celebrate and shy about. The silver, he calls himself a, a tanky. He's also a hitman currently storyboarding for a feature film and also got a partnership in France to also create anime for a France production. So the long and short of really what I'm trying to say is that the work that we are doing here at 4IR, it's work that we are seeing somewhere, it's work that we have proven that it is working and with patience, with an opportunity, because I think at the end of the day, what is a challenge rather for a black child is just to be given an opportunity. But once an opportunity is there and there is patience with people that will assist us with the craft, then we do blossom. And it's been evident. I mean, the entire 4IR did come and did volunteer at Fagukese last year in October uh, at the festival, which is some of the things that once we have the space and once we are comfortable and know what we are doing, opportunities within the gaming sector, the developing sector, as well as animation is endless. Graphic designers come from here, VFX um, animes come here, animation makers come here, drawers come here, editors come here, um, virtual reality is done here. So opportunities are endless. The question is where do you fit in, in the longer uh, uh, value chain? Be patient if you don't understand, always call. We'll, we'll advise where we can, particularly because we are not all coming from Mabupan. If you're coming from City Bank, find out what is near me. If we know and if we have partnerships, we'll tell you, no, from Batuako City Bank, you can go to this venue. If you're in Jobek, you can go to Simulukong. If you are, you know, so we will be able to tell you, even if we don't fund, because of all the institutions, they are our partners, we are able to always put in a word where we are not supporting, but we hope to have animation and we'll hopefully we'll support it more. So in terms of our, 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 our handover, I would like to advise that the, there'll be about 25 beneficiaries for this call. I hope um, the current call for submission is currently open. Libon? Ah, mm. Libon? Call for submission. The very same call that the CEO was saying to say there's a call for submission to apply again for the very same thing that we are doing today for it to happen to other beneficiaries. Calls are open for you to apply. It's closing on the 17th of May. Okay, so we've got three packages. The first package is the drones. The second package is it's, uh, the camera kit. And the third package is our laptops for editing and for animation. So all these um, equipments that we've bought, they are not limited to what we are giving you. You are able to also add in accessories in line with what you'll be doing. So um, please bear with us. Um, the, 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 the drone... Um, Package, we will start with it. If we can just have the all the drones come. Yeah. 
So for our drone packages, it comes with, as small as it is, it comes with the three flight batteries, a battery charger, a low noise propeller, as well as a gumbo protector, a control stick, as well as a filter set, a battery charging hub, as well as the bank adapter, and the shoulder bag, which is inside. So everything, it looks small, but everything is in it, and there's a lot of things in here. So I wouldn't really want to waste time because uh, the MEC is, is fighting against time. Um, so as I call the names, please do come through. Uh, MEC CEO, please kindly. <laughs> no, okay, thank you. Hotato Melody. Let's even I do. Njabulo Mavuso. Jabulo Mavuso. Yes, she was second. Siniki Mage. Tabang di Seko. Tabang di Seko. Yes, please. Vungani Makuvele. Vungani Makuvele. John Suarello Mabone. John Suarello Mabona. Yeah, you can go sit down. No, from the yes. So we'll now call in the the package two, which is our camera equipment package. I think I think maybe pay package, or do you want to? No, I think right at the end. Just ask them not to be because we use one at least five. There'll be a lot of them, but everybody is so happy. So if you do it that way. Okay, they can come and take a picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is quite good. We these we giving we giving eight. Eight. Yes. We we giving ten of these and then the third group we're giving eight. Can they just come picking it's it, it well, is bulky, okay. yeah. yes. You can just come um, yeah, yeah. and can you describe e what Yes, is? yes, I will do that. Yeah. So in this package, two of the cameras, it's a Canon SOR10, it's the 15 ER lens, it's the 800 DRGB 2X light kit, it's a tripod, as well as a, an Extreme Pro and a camera bag. Naomi Nchaba. Kolani Ntlapo. Kolani Ntlapo. Boys Miate. Zinzi Lezungu. Alfred Mohalaka. Offense Mutani. Vanessa Maria Sondlo. Yes. All, all of us. Yes, all of us. No, they can just come on in. All right. Vanessa Maria Sondlo. Thank you. Tembele to Munari.
Se bo go rakitla Prudence Rotwane Prudence Rotwane okay Your packages are there. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And the, the last group, which is the third package, is a laptop, and it's an HP laptop, a Canon, a Canon printer, the printer ink, laptop bag, magic edit keyboard, a mouse, as well as an edit pad. That's our last group. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Yes. So the last people that I'm calling, it's the last category and will be. Do it. So if you want to sit here and argue with us, Kyako Bakira Mara Mara Mara. Or Nanzo we ready Mara Mara. I wanna know what to argue. I think you should leave and become a politician. It don't join the Renet politician. Yeah. We're explaining a process to you, my child. Stick to it. Next time I hear it, I'm gonna be low and grand distance. Ne? Yes. Can we have um, just one one package here? Yeah, the laptop. Just one, so that we can. Can I get your attention? We are almost done. Thank you. Thank you, MEC. Um, Kastarin Khola. Ntogoz on Kabinde. Tebu Homoreki Karabo Malele Itumeleng Pai Lebuhang Sonia Nesalaisa Agrita Moi Thank you so much. And some of our other ben, uh, beneficiaries could not make it. Others have gotten uh, jobs where they are working. Others are currently shooting, so they could not make it. So we'll take them to the office and then they will come collect from our office. Yes, thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Um, the, the, all the beneficiaries, as we had called them, and in the meantime, the, the, the uh, programs continues. Can we just get the ones we had called for drones so that they can come collect their drones? And then we'll, we'll, we'll come with the, the camera packages and uh, they can come collect and we can just sign for them. Can I request one thing that's very, very important? T today, tonight, can you insure your equipment? Can you insure it? it usually, I've, I've, I've tested and found different um, quotations just to understand what will you be dealing with. It's not really more than 300 rands a month. Please take it because if you, you, you lose your, your equipment, unfortunately, as we release it today, it's no longer the GFC's responsibility and the MEC's responsibility and the CEO's responsibility. Don't call them. They won't help you because they steal equipment. Equipment gets stolen all the time. When you go and have an event, uh, guys, we all know, we, we, have the, we have the space, I can remember the equipment that on a That thing must stop because all of us, we go and we put it all there with the trust that we are trusting each other. But the person that steals is not us. It's someone else because of Rebele Molo, we are in production, we are backstage, we are wherever, everything is there. We come to change batteries, we go. We leave everything there. Can you just try to look after you? There's a lot of equipment theft. It's there, I know. And there's nothing I can do as well because of crime is crime, guys, we all know. Please ensure your, your, your equipment, whether you do it through your company, whether you do it on, as a, your personal uh, 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 equipment, please just ensure it. Thank you so much. Today, today because once you have a lens, Remember, Lance, I say we school of three, like a couple things. Okay, okay, I think we'll just can we just get three testimonials? Um, you, you, you will not be asked anything, you can say what you think you would like to share with us. Very brief, um, three people. So one from each category, so from the, the recipient. And I don't want to pinpoint the people. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. You are? Hello, everyone. Uh, so, yes, I will speak because I got the camera package. Uh, the mission for me is to preserve our history as black people. Oh, sorry. Prudence Hotwane and my company is Lufuno Crafts. Uh, Lufuno Crafts basically means uh, crafted from a place of love, uh, which is the passion of filming. So the whole initiative for me was to preserve African history because I kept trying to find stuff about Kosa people, stuff about Zulu people, stuff about being vendor. And I was like, I, it's not make sure. <laughs> so now the mission is for me to basically get older people because I, I call them our libraries. So every time we lose an older person, I say a library burnt down. So um, I just want to capture all that and preserve it so that my kids know how certain things are done. Their kids know how certain things are done. All our children know. Oh, it's see what you need to do a certain savings from a specific culture. You know how to do it. You don't still have to search and figure it out and not understand because there's no one there to tell you how to actually do it. So even you as a person at your home, if you still have a grandmother, a grandfather, make sure you ask how processes are done because it's a problem. And at the end of the day, when we need to do it, we can't. So the mission for me is to capture that in film and preserve it as like a library go-to at the end of the day. Thank you. Another volunteer from the drones. Thank you. Uh, Dumela, my name is John Mavona, and I'm the founder of PTV. Uh, MEC and uh, CEO, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity that you've given us, and uh, also to pay recognition to what the work, the work that AB4IR is doing. I think that uh, 
it's it's greatly needed in in our community because now i've been in business for more than a decade now and when i started systems were not as developed as they are today by one so lena sitting here i think that you guys have a much more simpler journey and a much more simpler path to go through than what we had to go through because government in itself the systems that they are using now never no problem you would go to one place and they tell you something else go to another place they tell you something else and so now i think already they understand their process is much better and so you guys need to take advantage of that and then also as black people we have a steep learning curve because we're always trying to play catch up with what the world is doing and then that thing puts us at a disadvantage we understand so even if you come up with something you might find or that thing unfortunately in the community that you are in it's ahead of its time and then you need to wait for people to catch up with you <laughs> and then that thing is frustrating as an entrepreneur i've been through that we understand or whatever so please guys take care of, take advantage of the opportunities that are being given to you invest in yourself take time to invest in yourself it's no longer necessary for you to go to an institution to go and seek information information is out there you know how to get it you have you have it in your hands every day let's learn to use the to use the internet correctly and effectively and then we'll see or our lives will improve thank you very much thank you thank you so much and another thing which is something that we always take lightly and for granted is the people that have the drones and the ones that have the camera and the ones that have the laptops can actually collaborate on their own because of then you've got someone that is doing production and taking your high shots and then the people that are, have got their cameras they're taking your immediate shots and then you've got the the editing stuff which you can edit but also besides that the gfc has an, a post-production facility in the office you book if you need to edit any of your work, you are welcome, it's free. You just need to follow the process of applying at the reception and they'll give you a time when one of the edit suite is available, then you can come during the, that time to come in and edit. You just need to book it. it there's also a resource center, particularly when you're dealing with R&D because we know that uh, research and development is very uh, hard, but also you need to get a lot of money to get the stories that we are researching correct so that we don't find ourselves having in labor where people told a closer story without the truth of it and then we come back and then we say people are telling our stories and babuamak when lorona we also don't invest on research and development it's a very very critical point particularly when you're telling factual stories or documentaries because of the family we need when you're creating fiction i can fly it's fine but when you're creating documentaries and depending also if you we have in the room content creators that are, are going to do journalism that are going to be um doing stories on of heritage it means you must be true to the research if you are doing a, a, a language preservation for an instance language preservation you can't come and say the vendors are doing this when they are not so it means research, research, research. So we also have those facilities in the office. Please come, you're welcome. A book at the reception, Nani is always helpful. Um, she will book you and then you'll get the time and space to come and work. You're always welcome. Last people, it's the, the laptop group. The last group. You wanna? that you will do once we're done with our session. I think you are welcome to network. I don't think we will chase you instantly. So you will be able to network amongst each other and be able to collaborate. Yes. Um, hi guys. Um, so um, I'm a recipient of um, Naomi Njaba um, from Gwelanga Productions. That's my company's name. So I just got this, not the, but I just wanted to testify to something. So I studied film and TV at UJ a couple of years ago, and I couldn't find employment. So I decided instead of um, seeking employment from production houses, how about I create my own? And I've been applying for France from GFC and NFVF, and they've been supporting me a lot, you know, and I just wanna appreciate what they've been doing for me. Um, my 
companies currently funded for development. We de we're developing a script and I'm currently busy with um, production application for production with GFC. And now I just received this. So um, please do take advantage of these opportunities as young people. Thank you. Um, any last words, CEO, MSV, say? <laughs> Yeah, but now it's a sign of weakness. So the Haparid Tara Lagamohar, or Lelagamohar, but Loban also collapsed. I fellow actually wanted to cry. MEC CEO colleagues, thanks for your for the presentation that you have made. The advantage of what has been delivered here. MEC, most of the time when you talk about service delivery, it's always long term. But this is immediate service delivery. You, you don't have to wait. It's just if you could also give them the solar because they would need power. Unfortunately, we don't have, we have intermittent power supply. Uh, CEO, maybe next time you must also give them a package because you have always have intermittent power supply. But I think we should. In my previous life, we also need, went out to communities to deliver in those days when I worked for government MEC, we used to deliver what you call telecenters. We now call them phone shops um, when I worked for communications department. So we went, and I remember in 1998, on the 19th of April, around the 17th of April, we were at Le Palale, the first telecenter we launched as Universal Service Agents and Access of South Africa. That's what it's called now. Then it was called Universal Service Agents. 1998, a phone rings because we are testing the lines. People in that village in Lipalale, they have never had a phone ring in, my, in their lives. 1998, they ran out of the center because that sound was unfamiliar to them. You're laughing now, and we laughed at the time because we did not appreciate the fact that we come from the urban areas. We, I worked for telecom for 11 years, so we know how a phone rings. But people in rural areas did not know how a phone rings. So that delivery of that service was very impactful. So in my view, this is an impactful service delivery, MEC and CEO, thank you so much. The challenge that you have I saw so, uh, the MC <laughs> having a paper that says, don't sell. Please don't sell the equipment. The challenge that we have is that we have this beautiful infrastructure, beautiful services that the government delivers. All we do is not to take care of those. We must guard these things jealously. Because you don't want next year when election comes, you say, this government doesn't deliver. Yet you stay in an RDP house and you say, and you're having this, this equipment, then you say this government doesn't deliver. And you take films, you take pictures with the camera that government delivered to you. Then, and then you post on Facebook and say this government, you use the same equipment. You stay in, a, in an RDP house that you got for free. You go out of the RDP house and you say the government does not deliver. So this is deliver. We use the same equipment. Use coming from the same house, free water, electricity. So we are. Our, all I'm saying is that, please let's look after this equipment. The conditions, President CEO. Next time is that before you give this to people, they must bring a, a receipt that they have insured the equipment. So you must inform the upfront that you have won something, insure it. The only time they get it is when they prove that it has been insured. That's why when you go and buy a car before you leave, it has to be insured because we understand that there could be challenges. My appeal to you is that cut this equipment jealously. Those that have not applied, please take advantage. There's a story about somebody who was very religious. They pray to win a lot, literally every day, every evening, three times a day. Now the question is, they've never won the lot. As a way, this person has complained, the question was, did you bet? 
they forget to bet the lot. They expect you to win miraculously. No betting. So how do you win a lot if you don't go and bet the lot? Please apply. And I've made an undertaking. I know my staff, my team is not going to be very impressed with me because I'm giving them more work and no pay for that work. But I think because you are a community center, people that need assistance in applying, they must come here and be assisted. I, I've, I've also wrote a note to the CEO to say, CEO, I know my CEO is not going to be impressed, to be impressed with me, but it's when I bought chairperson who can instruct, you don't ask. We are also saying, CEO, the people that need incubation in the film industry, from the point of view of business incubation, we should add that as part, that is, I see you in Shabilam, we should add that part as we are incubating currently 57 businesses in the community, we can add and say, if people want to be incubated from the business point of view on film and related industries, as supported by Gauteng Film Commission, they must also come here. We must create that enabling environment. After all, that's where we are here for, to make an impact in communities. We could have been in the city center of Tswan, but we decided to be here because we want to service our communities here. Thank you so much, MEC and CEO. Thank you very much. Just to say there are a number of opportunities. Um, please go follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, as well on Twitter. There are a number of opportunities for those who are just emerging, for those who want to get into the industry that we then provide in collaboration with some of the funded parties. So please follow us religiously so that when these come, you are able to participate in them. When we've got these notable master classes, MEC spoke about business development, that you are able to participate in those. So that would be the last thing, Tabele, so that we just um, welcome them as part of growth of um, our Tish, the township economy and, and all of that, yeah. And thank you so much. Um, I think we can, we can, we can excuse uh, our leadership. And uh, we can remain because then we'll have um, our last two items on our program. We're going to have a short screening and then immediately after that, then we'll have our lunch. Thank you so much. Thank you, CEO. Thank you, MEC. Thank you, Dr. Ramfo. Can we have the, 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 I can just call the names again so that at least we don't, we don't, um, read Chaka Chaka. And then immediately when you, you just receive, please just come to, to Tsepang. Tsepang is this beautiful lady next to me. So that you just sign. Because once you sign, this is when you are committing. Hore. So we'll start with the drones. Mohazo Melody. Jusen Naidu. Njabulo Mavoso. We're starting with the drones. Can we just have order there? Oh, but you drone, but the I need. Okay. Then we can, no problem. Then we can do the second package. Uh, Naomi Chaba. Solanin Tapo. Boys Moate. Zinzi Lezumu. Alfred Mohalata. Ufenze Mutlane. Vanessa Maria Sondro. Tembele Chumunare, Tebojo Ragita, Prudence Rotoane, yeah, can they sign? That's what is, then they can take, then they can just take one each. No, we're done, we're done with this one. They can just take, we take this, this. You take this packages is from good from goodless from the box yeah so everything is all tight in one 
there's many people here. Because, um, it's heavy. Let's just have, sorry. No, it's not heavy. It's not. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I might. Yeah. <laughs> already there. You were like, I'm not doing this anymore. Sorry, he was here earlier. I just want to check yes. his, his yes, package. Yes, Colani Club. Yes. yes. So that the bum will be signed. Yes, he did sign. Yes. For which package? I get the key thing is the package. Come around, come around. Come around. Come this side. So, Rari. I don't know, Rari. Are you together? Yes. Okay. So, Colani, package. I get it. This is the flowers.
Okay, we're doing the last group, and I think those ones, Banavali, Trene, it was the last three guys. Uh, Damoy is one of them. Kastarin Khola, Ndogozo Nkabinde, Karabo Malele, Tebu Homoreki, Itumele Nkpai, that was just the three of you, thank you so much. Can we get uh, the screening ready, um, because we are done with our last three? Mr. John, are you ready with the screening that side? Is the screening ready? Thank you. Swizzle, okay, the screening, we're ready. Ah, uh -uh, Swizzle, almost when I grew up, wait, it's about Swizzle. Well, well, I'll Swizzle, I get ready.
Can we have all the beneficiaries outside for a group photo? By the reception? The cameraman can go to the reception. All the beneficiaries, can we go for a photo, a group photo? Thank you so much.